we're going to have a look at plotting points on the Cartesian plane. First, let's set the scene and see what we're trying to do with this. So imagine you and I each have a blank sheet of white paper, exactly the same piece of paper, but you are in one room and I'm in another room. I draw a dot on my piece of paper and I want to make sure that you draw a dot on your piece of paper in exactly the same place as mine is. One way I could do this would be to say let's fold the paper in half and in half again so we find the center point of the paper and then I tell you okay start at the center point and travel so many steps along to the right and then so many steps exactly up and if you follow my instructions exactly, you'll get to the correct point. Now, obviously, we need to agree on what are the size of the steps, right, and all that sort of thing. But this is essentially what the idea of the Cartesian plane is. We're going to be looking at a system that allows us to locate a point on essentially a blank piece of paper, which in mathematical terms is a plane. Okay, so let's have a look at how we start getting our Cartesian plane together. One of the things we need to do is sort of talk about how far to the left or right we go. So we're going to draw a line that goes from left to right horizontally. And we're going to mark a starting point on that, which we'll call zero. And then we're going to measure exact little steps. And each step has to be exactly the same size. And so here I've got showing nine of the steps to the right. And now if I want to move to the left from my zero point, I'm going to call those numbers negative. But again, each of those steps is exactly the same size. Now remember also when I was locating that point on my piece of paper, you also needed not only to know how far left or right, but also where up or down it was. So I'm going to put on a line for showing how far up and down you are. And that is going to go through at that same zero point, and I'll use that zero point as the zero point for my vertical line too. And again, I'm going to put steps, each exactly the same size going up, and then I'm going to put steps going down, and the ones that go down, I'm going to label as negative. And there I have what is called my Cartesian plane. Let me just talk about a few little um, terms that we use. We first of all, we label that line that goes from left to right, the horizontal line, we call it, we label it with an x, we call it the x-axis, and it is the horizontal line, in other words, the line that's going left to right. The line that goes up and down, well, that we're going to label with a Y. We call it the Y axis and it is vertical, right? It's the vertical axis that goes directly up and down. A very special point is kind of that, that starting point where we started the numbering from both on the horizontal and on the vertical axis. So that zero point, we call that the origin. Now I'm going to put a grid behind my Cartesian plane because that's going to make it easier for me to work with. And I want to show you how we're going to talk about points on the Cartesian plane. So the way we talk about points is as follows. We give them a name like A, and then we give them coordinates. The first coordinate tells me the x value. And that tells me how far left or right of that origin, the zero point, we have to go. The second coordinate is the y coordinate. And that one tells me how far up or down from the origin we need to go. Let's have a look at it in practice. We always start at the starting point, the origin. Then we start with our x, which is the first number of the coordinate pair, so it's the 4, and that tells me 
how far left or right to go. So we first just do a nice calm walk along the flat old left to right. And if it's four, a positive four, we must move to the right. So we move one, two, three, four steps to the right. Then after that, we look at the Y coordinate. And that tells me how far up or down I need to go. In this case, it's a positive five. So I need to go up. So I'm now going to walk up five steps. One, two, three, four, five. And so over there is my point A, which has the coordinates four, five. Let's have a look at another point. If we're asked to plot the point B, which is negative two, three, what do we do? Well, we always start first with the X coordinate. We also always start right at the origin and then we have to move left or right according to the x coordinate. Now in this case the x coordinate is negative 2. Negative means we move to the left so we must move two steps to the left. 1, 2. Then we look at the y coordinate. y coordinate tells us how far up or down to go. And in this case, the y coordinate is 3, so we need to move 3 steps up. 1, 2, 3, and there we have our point B, which is at negative 2, 3. Okay, say we needed to draw the point C, 6, negative 5. Why don't you quickly try now? and see if you can identify where that would be on this Cartesian plane. Quickly see if you can point to the correct spot. OK, let's work on that together. We start at the origin and then we need to first deal with the X, which tells us how far left or right to go. In this case, it's six. A positive 6, so it's 6 steps to the right. So we're quickly going to go there. Then we look at our y. Our y tells us how far up or down to go. And in this case, it's a negative 5, so we need to go down 5 steps. And there we end up with our point C, 6 minus 5. Did you get that right? How about trying this one? See if you can identify where the point D, which is given by negative 8, negative 2. OK, let's see if you got it right. As always, we start at the origin. Then we have a look and see that our x coordinate is negative 8. That tells us how far left or right we must move. Because it's negative, we've got to go left. And we've got to go left eight steps. So let's quickly do those eight steps. Then we look at our y. And our y tells us how far up or down to go. In this case, it's a negative two. So we need to go two steps down. So let's quickly take those two steps down. And that's where our point D is. OK, let's have a look at our final point, And this is an interesting one. The point E is 0, 0. So as always, we start at the origin. Then we have to have a look at the X coordinate and it tells us we must go no steps, 0 steps, left or right. So we mustn't move left or right. OK, fine. Then let's look at the Y. Well, the Y is also 0. So that tells us how far up or down we must move. And this says we mustn't move up or down, 0 steps up or down. And so, in fact, this point, 0, 0, is the origin. It's that central spot where the two axes cross each other. OK, so that takes us through the basics of plotting points.
The main idea is, when you're asked to plot a point, you always start at the origin. And then you look at the x-coordinate and it tells you how far left or right to move. And once you've moved left or right, you then look at the y-coordinate and that tells you how far up or down to move. You move those steps and where you end up, that is where your point is located.